everybody. How's it going? It's the Daily Shooter, and this is going to be the first video in a three-part series talking about gear. We're going to talk about chest rigs, plate carriers, battle belts, war belts, gun belts, mag pouches, mag holders, holsters, and things of that nature, because I really believe that your gear should always be evolving. You should always be evaluating your gear, looking at it, figuring out whether or not you have the right stuff, or if you need something else, or if you need to move something here or there. You should always be evaluating your gear. I used to wear this chest rig right here. This chest rig is nice. It has a lot of the great features that I like. It really worked out for me for a long time. But the problem was it's not modular. See the center section right here is sewn into the chest rig. So I'm not able to add anything. I'm not able to change anything other than these two side panels. Those side panels are very small. They allow for maybe a medical kit or something like that. And then I have my hydration bladder on the back. So with having the sewn in magazine uh, sections in the front and the only little bit of area that you have is on the left or the right of that section it doesn't allow you to change anything up at all so I decided to go out do quite a bit of shopping and I am going to completely change out my gear change out my gear meaning I'm gonna make it slimmer faster easier to use and it's gonna have a lot of uh, great features that I didn't have before using just a standard chest rig with the plate carrier. Now as you can see, my plate carrier has nothing on it. It's just blank, and we're gonna go ahead and change that today. That's actually what this video is gonna be for. We're gonna work on the plate carrier today. You're gonna notice here that I have a battle belt, I have a gun belt, I have several magazine pouches. A lot of the stuff you're gonna see here is Condor, and that's because I'm actually a big fan of Condor. I've used Condor for several years, and I've never had an issue with it. The price is just right, and as you can see, the table's pretty full. I have a a new uh, Molly attachment for my Serpa holster, and that's uh, going to allow me to, you know, attach my holster to my new battle belt. But keep in mind, the big key here is modularity. The fact that if I hook everything that I have onto the table up to my plate carrier and my battle belt, I can then take everything and readjust it, move it around to where I feel I want it. Now, if something new comes to the market, something I like a little bit better. You know, it's, it's good to keep an open mind because with an open mind, it will allow you to make better changes that may suit you better in the future. Now, the plate carrier that I'm using is just a Condor Sentry. It's very plain. It's very simple. It's very lightweight, and that's how I want to keep it. Uh, I don't want to add too much to it because I want it to be very fast and light just the way it is. You know, I've kind of resisted putting stuff on it up until now. But again, I like the modularity. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this Condor 3 magazine pouch to the front of it. It only holds one magazine per pouch, so it'll still be very nice and tight to the plate carrier. We're going to get that set up, and then I'm going to add this uh, Voodoo Tactical uh, Hydration Pouch to the back. I live in the desert. It's very, very important for me to have water. It gets up to 115 degrees, especially when you're wearing gear like this. So hydration is definitely a big issue. But that's it. We're going to go ahead and work on this plate carrier today, hook up these two things, and we'll see how that turns out. Because modularity is definitely key. Remember, evolve your gear. Listen to what people have to tell you. There's a lot of good information out there. Don't just listen to me. Now, I basically started off with a blank canvas. You know, I just had a plate carrier. It didn't have anything on it except for a couple morale patches. And now I've added the ability to have extra ammunition, extra magazines, hydration on the back, which was definitely up there in my list of priorities for setting up new piece of gear. I have to have hydration out in the desert. So this is basically how my gear has evolved to fit me, to fit my needs, to fit my environment. So that's something that I really wanted you guys to think about. That's really why I made this video was to kind of get people's gears thinking, to, to take out the things that you own and reevaluate them and look at them. Now another thing I want to talk about is the use of Condor gear. You know, that's one thing that I hear a lot of people have, but people kind of stay hush-hush about it. And when they do leave comments, they're like, why didn't you just go for the HSG gear? Why didn't you go for the G-code stuff? Well, a lot of that stuff is very expensive. I find that this stuff being very inexpensive still works really well. A lot of the gear that I have for Condor, I've had for several years. It's been beaten up, it's been taken out, in and out of the truck, uh, dragged through the desert and all different types of climate and weather and hot and cold, you name it. And it's all held up really good. I mean, I haven't even lost a single stitch on a piece of my Condor gear. So I feel very confident when I go and I buy something that I know is fairly inexpensive. This right here, this three mag pouch, only cost me, I think, about $11 to hold three AR and, uh, magazines. So it has bungee retention. It's really nice. The bungee, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's still loose enough to get things in and out but it's still tight enough to hold your magazines in. So I actually like the Condor. I try not to judge other people by what they have or the gear setup that you have. If you want to go inexpensive because that's what you can afford, great. If you want to get the best possible gear that's out there and only run the best, good. If you want to have something that's completely different than mine, I don't criticize as long as you have it. As long as you know that, you know what, it's good to have this stuff around for emergencies and it's good to be open-minded about what other people are using. Learn from other people and watch 
from other people, okay? That's something that definitely you want to do if you want to uh, evolve your gear. So this is going to be the first in a three-part series, probably three-part series. I, I might do it in just two. Starting off with my plate carrier and the upgrades that I've done there. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please like, subscribe. Have a great day.